Live from the TPC Summerlin, where the battle is on for one of golf's largest prizes. News 13 takes you inside the Invences Classic for the final round of play. Now, here's News 13 Sports Director, Ron Futrell. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Invences Classic out here with the TPC Summerlin on a, a really a beautiful, sunny Sunday afternoon here for you. For the next hour here locally, we're going to take a look at the Invences Classic and show you what's happening out here, give you some scores, give you updates, all sorts of stuff here, and regular feature stories here from the Invences Classic. We'll have that for you. And then from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, ABC will have its exclusive live coverage of the final round of the Invences Classic. We'll update you on the leaders, too. But first, let's take a quick tour of who's going to be helping us out here today. First First of all, to Mario Diaz. Mario. Thanks a lot, Ron. I'm here on the putting green, just about a nine iron away from the ninth hole, where right now Fred Couples and Davis Love are making the turn. Should be an interesting final round out here today. Of course, we'll have much more coming up later in the show. Let's check in now with Brandon Rue. Take a look at the weather forecast to see if the weather will hold out for the final round of the Invincis. Also, we'll take a look at the greens, how the officials choose pin placements and speed and why so many players out here are trying to do well this weekend to finish the year. Let's check in with Kate. Thanks, Brandon. We are out here, not on the golf course where all the action is happening, but where there is some other action going on. We're in the vending area. When everyone comes up here or if they want to get a break from the golf, they can come check all of this out. Lots of stuff to look at, lots of stuff to see, and of course, lots of people to talk to about the tournament. Coming up later on, we're going to find out exactly how many of these spectators know exactly what Invences is. Ron? I'm looking forward to that, finding out what that is. That's a fun area that you're at there, too, Kate. A lot going on in that area. A lot happening on the golf course here. We'll give you some updates on the scores in just a moment. But first of all, Brandon, you're talking about the weather here that you're looking at um, right now. It's a situation where, um, uh, come on, this is great weather out here, Brandon. This is very nice right now, isn't it? really warming up again the players had to deal with a little bit of wind to start out the morning but that of course is dying down we'll probably see some pretty high scores out here ron okay thank you very much brandon and mario as for the players out here at this tournament now we saw some local guys out here we had nine local guys in the tournament only three made the cut and no local guys really making a scare at this point in the invences classic no unfortunately that's not the case ron once again we have a tournament this year where there are no local golfers who are going to come out on top still that's what is that now about 19 21 years the 19th, 19, year. 19, 19th year where that's been the case joining me now is bob mccarth the chairman and it's great to have bob nearby because if i have a sudden brain loss he's there to fill it in for me but bob this year's tournament yesterday you had your biggest gate ever with the with the city changing overall with people coming in from all over how has the tournament changed in recent years well, we're just seeing we're seeing more and more people that have seen golf in other cities coming into town. They want to come and see golf tournaments. So, really, the change we've seen is just more and more people are coming out, and it's great. The more people out here, the better for us. How big would it be today if you had a local golfer in the mix, like an Ed Fry, a Bob May, or a Chris Riley that were atop the leaderboard going into the final round? Well, obviously, it would be great. You know, they already bring a lot of their own local people here to see and watch them play. But if they were up on the leaderboard, I think we'd have a little bit more excitement. But you know, our leaderboard's looking pretty good as it is. And from what I've seen so far, Chris Riley and Bob May are both playing pretty well today, so they may sneak up there. Perhaps. Hey, the great thing about this tournament, not too many people know this, is that there's actually proceeds from the tourney, about $1.5 million, that's just what you're expected to raise, that go to Children's Charities of Southern Nevada. And I believe this year the specific charity is for the Southern Nevada Youth Golf Association. Is that correct? Well, what we do is at the end of the tournament, whatever money is left over, uh, we take that money and put it into the founders foundation that money then accepts i mean well that money goes and sits there until different local charities uh put in for a grant request and so we support a lot of different charities boy scouts boys and girls clubs a lot of different people all right uh real quick chairman who are you supporting today who's going to win this well i i'm kind of pulling for mccarran all right so the chairman likes sky to mccarran I like Tom Lehman. Ron, who do you like today? Well, last check, um, McCarran had a, a one-stroke lead. We'll see how it goes from there. Tom Lehman, though, has really torn up the courses that he's right. played so far this week. He had one bad round, his third round here, shot a 72. But other than that, he's played very well this week. And the scores have been very low because of, uh, we've mentioned throughout the week, certainly the weather has been very good throughout the week, and it's been 
great, conducive certainly to the low scores. We've seen some course records set out here this week. And Brandon, you've taken care of us so far this week, uh, weather-wise, haven't you? You know, we're trying. We had a uh, rough Friday morning as far as wind went, but uh, that was pretty much the only day we had any problems. We take a live look now, checking out the people uh, on the hillside out here to see the top players on the PJ, and there's a reason why the top money leaders in the PJ are here this weekend, if not to win. They need to do very, very well, and it's very costly in more ways than one to miss the cutout here.